I wanted to start with a brief introduction of the front office football interface. A key part of the interface is the calendar. The calendar is made up of, of several components. There is um, an indicator of what stage you are in a particular season, and right now we're in the staff retention phase. There's text that tells you about the key tasks that you could do during this phase. And there are buttons at the top of the calendar that link to key features that you will be executing during this phase of the season. Now again, if you have any questions about front office football, you can always press F1 from any screen and the help text will come up that um, will give you more information. In fact, um, you can always press the question mark and bring up the uh, introduction and an index, contents, uh, menus that that uh, tell you more about the functions. This is the help system for the, the game and there is an awful lot in here. Um, I also wanted to go over the menu because the menu uh, bar has um, icons that bring up the key windows in the game. Um, this part of the menu is for um, opening and closing and saving games. This is This starts a new game, this opens a game, this icon saves. This one saves and gives you and gives you the opportunity to put the um, game in a new folder. Since saved games are absolutely huge in front office football, you want to won't want to do that often. And this is a delete um, career button, which is only available when you've um, first opened the app. Uh, these are these open menus within front office football. Right here, this opens the game options menu, uh, and these control options that affect all of your careers. This is the roster commands menu. This is game planning and, and depth charts. Now, the, those aren't enabled right now because we're in the off season, um, but depth charts and, and game plans are something that you can set when you're a more advanced front office football player. Um, when you start out, you're probably going to want to keep the game options for single player, uh, all these options for the coaches and your staff automatically doing these depth chart and game planning tasks set to yes so that you don't have to worry about it. But when you're ready, you can turn these off and, and go to town on the game planning. Um, this is the simulation menu, which leads to uh, the window that where you actually simulate the games. This is the email window. Uh, Sometimes you get information from front office football through this. Um, in this case, it tells you who's just been inducted in the Hall of Fame. Sometimes you'll get uh, trading uh, trade offers through this, the email. And sometimes you'll get an email that tells you about a stage, a little bit more in detail about what you'll be doing during that stage. This is the almanac window. The almanac is, is kind of the record book and other functions that look at the numbers that front office football keeps. So if you want to look at the Hall of Fame or if you want to look at career records, you do so through the almanac or the statistics from the season. And this is the multiplayer window. Now, multiplayer in front office football requires a commissioner running um, an FTP site. Uh, there's a lot of instructions for how to do that in the help file. It's not something that's done directly through Steam, though. Um, so keep in mind that if you want to play multiplayer, you can go online and search for leagues. Um, it's really, I mean, people have been doing this for a long time, and, and really some of these leagues have wonderfully detailed websites, and uh, they're very enjoyable. Um, so if you're into uh, the idea of challenging other players and uh, game planning against them, I would encourage you to, to look online and, and explore the community. Uh, there are a lot of good people out there. Uh, this icon opens up the help file as we saw and this is just an about box that tells you the version of front office football you're running. And that's basically it for the interface.